I think just from my particular perspective in the advertising world and, and online advertising in particular, and you guys know this as users, you go online, would, do you ever click on the banners? Virtually no, right? So like all the, all the momentum now at this point is for advertisers, major companies to get into the content business, right? So their, uh, you know, native advertising is, is kind of the all encompassing term. So literally creating, uh, you know, their own, their own videos, their own, uh, articles, uh, and using these emerging platforms, you know, uh, you know, whether it's Levi's using Instagram to kind of create these beautiful images that, you know, very, uh, kind of subtly integrate their, their genes, you know, there's so many great examples that, uh, yeah, I would definitely kind of lean into those platforms. And then the, the other interesting trend is, you know, with all the short kind of, uh, form content, whether it's 140 characters on Twitter or one picture on Instagram, there's also kind of this trend coming in now of, of the return of longer form content. If you go on to like medium.com or courts or, you know, kind of all these, um, kind of uh, emerging sites that are really dedicated to long form content. Uh, and medium is, is a site that you guys can go on right now and contribute to. So I, I would definitely encourage that. Um, for me with interns, when I was specifically working at Homes for Brave, since I managed the interns there, we, the nonprofit world, we're all, every nonprofit's understaffed. So that's just, it goes without saying, and everyone wears multiple hats. Um, so I use interns a lot uh, for our Facebook page, for, we had WordPress for our um, website, and we had Constant Contact for our eBlast. And I w at that time was a one-person shop. So if I could get the right in intern and teach them, and it didn't take long, a lot of them knew how to use it better than I did by the first week, um, it was fantastic. It helped me out so much. I can't even express because I just didn't have enough time and it was so important and for the nonprofit world uh, what's great about all those platforms pretty much is they're either free or close to free so that's one thing you don't spend money on but you do have to spend time on and every intern that left could then put on their resume with me that they had a working knowledge of constant contact WordPress you know and obviously the media side the social media side so that was one more thing to to highlight when they went to their next job and that you didn't need to have classes in necessarily. Um, I think I think you were maybe trying to touch a little bit on this this concept of the digital native. Uh, that's what um, a lot people in library land talk about a lot. Digital natives versus um, is it digital immigrants? It's, yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> people people that grew up without the internet or sort of came to the internet uh, use of the internet um, at a later time are considered digital immigrants and people who w have been sort of inter intertwined with the internet since birth almost are digital natives and that would be all of you guys. Um, those people in the library world at least, the library world, um, especially in public libraries and even in school libraries, um, being a digital native puts you like light years ahead of pretty much every librarian that's out there because they're all a lot of them are a lot older um they don't want to use the facebook they don't want to <laughs> use the twitter um you know it's they they want to you know they miss the card catalog you know <laughs> things like that and and so if you if you come if you come to a library let's say especially a public library which is a not-for-profit and is desperately <laughs> understaffed and underfunded um and you have even like an iota of those skills, just stuff that you just like to do. Um, you'll be able to make a job out of it, or at least an internship out of it. And and then you know you've started down the the dark hole into library land, and, and I welcome you um, at the end of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, absolutely. I mean, being surrounded by technology at pretty much at all times from the time you were in diapers on, that is a huge, like, out of the gate, a huge uh, advantage that, um, you know, we'll, we'll see exactly how how advantageous it, how advantageous it is. Like, there was that whole um, rush of jobs that were just, like, Facebook and, and Twitter, like, I'm the social media manager of yeah. blah, blah, blah. Although those are kind of going away now, um, especially for, like, um, for-profit companies. but. Um, yeah, you you can totally turn you know what you like to do already 
into into a job or into an internship and you'll be way ahead of the game.